This is Minecraft, but crafts get smaller. Today, Minecraft crafting is going from a 3x3 to a 0x0? Wait, what? From the teeny tiniest Minecraft items to craftable tiny worlds I can enter to even this mysterious orb. My goal is to unlock the tiniest crafting table possible where it's so small, it gets smaller than even a 0x0 crafting table. So, how tiny can crafting get? And what happens if I go beyond a 1x1 crafting table? Stay tuned to find out. So, this is a normal crafting table. And this is a slightly smaller crafting table, which goes from a 9x9 to a three by two by, I don't even know, eight slots. And if we go inside of the table, we now have a shrinking table, which is gonna be seven slots. And the first thing we can make on the shrinking table is gonna be not a pickaxe, but a pickaxe axe. Break both trees and stones. And just like that, we got our first shrink and the crafting table shrunk. New craft unlocked. And so our goal today is to make crafting get as small as possible as you can see from the progress bar at the top, where we're going to be getting crafting table events apparently as we progress through this thing. So for the next thing we make, which here's the craft on the screen right now, it's pretty much going to be a long curved sword. Slings cobblestone. And yet again, another shrink and the crafting table shrunk to a two by three. Guys, we just started and we're already down to literally six things. All right, but before we do anything, what does the pickaxe axe do? Oh, that's actually really useful. Nice. Okay, so we can get a lot of cobblestone and a lot of wood that way. And what about the long curved sword? Is it just like a long sword? Oh, I can shoot out cobblestone. Oh, that's sick. Anyways, though, for the next craft, it'll be on the screen right now. We're going to be needing six wheat. And this time, it makes thick bread. A whole meal. Why the bread so thick? <laughs> what the heck? Yet again, another shrink and the crafting table shrunk again. And now the table is five slots and it kind of looks a little bit sus. Okay, well, well, before we do anything, let's eat the thick bread and wait, what? I feel chunky. Oh my, I'm a big boy. Oh, it's done. Well then, nice. Okay, so that's what thick bread does. Sadly, I can't make any more, but the next thing we can make is gonna be on the screen right now yet again. Literally guys, we're gonna be doing a lot of crafting and this time it's gonna be with a bunch of sticks. So is this like a boat? Wait, what is that? A top half of a stick chest plate doesn't do much or offer much protection. Um, okay, so yet again, shrinking. And our message is beware of the zero by zero crafting table. Wait, is that a thing? Okay, so what does this chest plate do? I just like put it on? Oh, it's not even a full chest plate. Wait, it doesn't even give me any protection. That's a scam. And for the next craft, it's going to be on a giant sideways L thing. And here's the craft on the screen right now. So we actually need iron, but good thing we got the pickaxe axe because we can go mining now real quick and get all the iron we need really quickly. Go my pickaxe. Oh, iron. Nice. Okay. Thank you very much. That is going to be 24 iron ingots just from this little thing right now. Well, let's go back up. Anyways, now that we have the iron, all we got to do is do four of the iron ingots and we get a one long iron boot. Half of a pair. Okay, so do I just put this on? Oh, so it's one iron boot and it gives me pants. Anyways, shrinking again and we got, please stop. Wait, what the heck is going on? Okay, let's do the next table, I guess. And this time we get three slots. And for this craft, here it is on the screen right now. We actually need a lot more poppies. So give me one sec. Okay, got the poppies. And now with three poppies, we get a, what is this? A stop sign. Please stop crafting before it's too late. That's a little bit ominous. But I'm gonna make it either way because we gotta get the crafting to be smaller to beat the game. And what happens now? Wait, what? Commencing shrink event? Why, why, why is the screen shaking? Wait, what just happened to the village? Guys, not only did the crafting get smaller, but everything got smaller too. Oh, wait, that may have been the first crafting event at the top. So every time a crafting event happens, I'm gonna get something crazy like this happens. And it's all because we got a stop sign shield. Wait, can I break these? Wait, I can break the house. Can I place it? No, I can't place it. I mean, might as well grab some more village buildings. But how does the crafting table look now? Oh, Oh, wait, it shrunk now to a two by one. So now we have a two by one crafting table, which after this, there's only one more crafting table to make. Anyways, for this crafting table, we have two crafts that will be on the screen right now. And the first one is actually going to be with the villager house we got. Wait, what the heck is this? A tiny villager sword flings of villagers. Wait, so what does this do? Oh, wait, are we shooting out tiny villagers? Oh, that's sick. And for the other craft, it's going to be with two oak logs, which luckily we do have a lot of stuff. And what the heck is this? Wait. Two oak logs make a shrink ray? Caution lasers. Wait, what? Oh, that's sick. Wait, what can I shrink? Wait, is that a tiny villager? Wait, can I shrink him? The villager is so tiny you can't see it anymore. A potion of shrinking dropped from the shrink. Caution minimizes. Okay, we can drink that soon, but what about the cows? Oh, it makes the cows and the pigs smaller. So now we have tiny cows, tiny pigs, and little tiny villagers. Mr. Pig, I'm so sorry, but I want to see what happens if I kill you. Wait, what? What did he just drop? A miniature bacon. Wait, what about a tiny cow? Charred steak. Mega crispy. I guess let's try out the bacon first because I am a 
little bit hungry. What does this do? I turned into a miniature pig. Wait, what? Oh, I'm a little pig now. Oh, that's sick. Oh, no, I went back to normal. Dang it. Okay, that was actually pretty sick, though. And so if we become the pig when we eat the bacon, do we become the cow when we eat the charred steak? Oh, apparently it's so charred it makes everything I walk in now burnt. Nice. Wait, also where I ate it, it left a diamond ore. Wait, can I mine this? Oh, yes, we mined the diamond. Okay, so um, literally at the very start, we now have one diamond. But anyways, with that being done, let's go ahead and try out this potion of shrinking and see what happens because we have another crafting event coming up very soon at the very top. So drink and there we go. Shrinking yet again and my crafting table is now shrunk to a one slot. Wait, uh, so what is this? Yo, wait, what the heck? That's a one by one crafting table. It's literally one crafting slot. And yet again, on the screen, here are all the crafts we can make for this one. So I'm gonna guess we got the diamond because there's a diamond craft this early on. And what does this get us? A tiny diamond chest plate. Barely fits. Unlock the full set to achieve ultimate tiny power. Smaller table required. Wait, can I put this on? Oh, look at that! It's not even a full shirt. Oh, and we got haste and glowing. Nice. And now for the other craft that we ended up getting, it's actually with one iron ingot, and that gets us a subscribe button. Click it. Wait, how does this work? Do I just right click? Incoming from above? Wait, what? <laughs> what the it's little subscribers. That's sick. Anyways, guys, if you guys are new to the channel, feel free to click that subscribe button right now. We're trying to hit 5 million subscribers and um, what the heck just happened, guys? Okay, so I didn't get a potion yet again. So what exactly am I supposed to do to get to the next tier? Oh, wait, I have an idea. What if I try shrinking the table? Oh, that worked. Oh, let's go. Yet again, shrinking. And my crafting table has shrunk yet again. And what the the heck is this thing? Wait, we just went from a one by one. Is this going to be a zero by zero? Oh my gosh. This is a zero by zero crafting table where there's literally absolutely nothing on the left. But because we opened it, we right away got the next item, which is a singularity. So nothing made a singularity with cursed text. This is very sketch, but we're going to get it anyways. Oh no. Not again. Not again. Not again. What's going on? Oh, what the heck? Size decreased. Everything's now, or I'm smaller, apparently. Oh my gosh. Wait, what the heck? What the heck? Okay, no, no, stay away. Stay away. What the heck is this guy doing? Let's get back to crafting very soon, but let's get this guy out of the way real quick. So now we're in a giant village with brand new iron golems, it looks like. And wait, are you friendly? He is not friendly. Okay, nope. Let's get rid of this guy. Okay, that's another golem down. Oh, is that a netherite golem? Wait, do you drop netherite or do you drop iron? He doesn't drop anything. That's a bit of a scam. Anyways, with that being done, wait, what the heck is this guy? Um, hello? Is this a villager golem? He's just kind of vibing. Nice. And an upside down villager too. What the heck is going on in this video? You know what? If you made this far in the video, comment down below the timestamp and just say that's the most beautiful villager ever because it really is. Anyways, what did our table become now? You shrunk, but for some reason, your crafting table got so small, it's now bigger. What the heck is this table? How did we go from a zero by zero to now a six by six? You know what? Let's just go with it. Anyways, though, for this crafting table, here are the crafts on the screen right now that we got to do, and they all require copper, which we might not have enough of, except one craft in particular, which I'm not really sure what this makes, so let's go ahead and try that right now. So it's going to be a lot of iron right there, couple cobblestone there, and we get a wireless ore gatherer. Mining is now hands-free. Okay, so what does this do? Oh, wait, is it mining under me? Oh, it's bringing in the copper. Oh, it's literally mining everything. Literally, that machine broke everything around us. What the heck? Anyways, with that being done, I think we lost that machine. On the bright side, though, we did get enough copper for everything we need, and these are going to be some giant crafts. Holy. Oh, wait. It's still tiny items. We get tiny leggings, which are statically charged. I mean, why not? Let's go to make all the armor. Never made tiny armor before, but it's actually pretty cool. Let's real quick put this all here, and I guess this is going to be our armor set now. And then finally with the entire set, we get a new ability with O for lightning cage. And yet again, another potion of shrinking fell to the last tiny armor piece, so shrinking yet again, and my crafting table has now shrunk. But before we see how this thing shrunk again, let's go ahead and try the new ability in three, two, one. Oh, yo, that was sick. Okay, not really sure what that does, but that's a really good ability. Anyways, we did get this potion of shrinking right here, so let's go ahead and drink that up. And yet again, my crafting table has now shrunk, which what the heck is it gonna be this time? That did not shrink at all, guys. It's literally getting bigger. This doesn't make any sense. What the heck? And we got a new thing saying the mouse hill is 202 blocks away from me. Oh, it's this way, apparently. Okay, well, I guess let's go check this out. Wait, what the heck is this? Okay, I don't get inside of there. Shrink size 10 required. I'm gonna guess that that's my size right now, so let's go inside and check what the heck is going on in here.
here. Okay, so before we go inside, I also want to give a heads up that we do have two new crafts on the screen right now, and they require what looks like cheese. So do I get the cheese from these guys? Hello? We what the heck were these guys? Oh, 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 they're literally punching me. Okay, no, no, guys, 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 chill, please, please. Am I supposed to stop you guys? All right, go come over here, mice. I'm so sorry about this. They ended up dropping some cheese cubes. Oh, this is the thing I can craft with. Okay, so I guess let's just collect a bunch of cheese cubes and try to make the first item. That should be good enough. Let's go to get the shrinking table and go ahead and make the next thing. The craft is going to be on the screen right now, and it's apparently like a burger or something. I don't even know what this is. Wait, what the heck is this? A cheese hat pacifies the rats? Oh, wait, that might be very useful. Let's put this on real quick. And what if I go up there? So do you guys do anything now? You guys don't attack me. Please, you gotta help us. The evil rat king has been taking our cheese for our entire lives. You gotta stop him. Defeat the rat king. Oh my! Wait, what does he look like that? Why is his head so small? Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. No, 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 no. Please stay away. Oh gosh, we're at three and a half. No, 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 no. Stay away. Go, go on my villagers. Get the rat king. And just like that, that's gonna be it for the rat king for this tiny crafting level. And we ended up getting another potion of shrinking. I am gonna go ahead and make one more item that we haven't made just yet before we shrink though. And a rat staff. Wait, what the heck does this do? Oh, my rats became rat wolves. What? Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Okay, they are bullying all the other rats. Okay, well, you guys do your thing over there and let's make the last item we can. And it looks like a sword, but we ended up getting a cheese sword, which fires cheese balls and I can set mouse traps. Wait, what? Oh, I can set little mouse traps. That's sick. Wait, what about left click? Oh, cheese balls. Nice. Okay, so before we do anything, let me go get some food. So one sec, guys. Guys, I look so goofy. Like, what the heck am I wearing? Anyways, let's go to drink the potion shrinking. And yet again, my crafting table is now shrunk and now there's a tiny desert temple 237 blocks away. Wait, is that this way? Oh, it is. Before we get there, what's a new crafting table? So yet again, it's kind of getting smaller, but at the same time, it's getting bigger. It doesn't make any sense, but it does make sense because we're in a bigger world, but let's get to the temple first and then we'll figure it out. Ooh. Thing. It's literally a tiny desert temple. Okay, so if it's a tiny desert temple, how do we get inside? Do I right click? Oh, wait, that worked. Wait, what just happened? Where am I now? Is anything down there? What the heck is that? Do I want to go down there? I guess I'm going down there. Oh gosh. Okay, please don't be bad. I'm just, I come in peace. I, I may have just killed the rat king, but you know, it's all good because like, you know, it, it was vibes. What, is that a black hole or something? Am I supposed to avoid that? Oh wait, no, now we're at the bottom. Wait, what are these guys? Giant sand golems. Oh, this is sick. Oh, yo, what's up guys? Get them wolves. Go on. I'm going to set down some rat traps, get the sand golems, and let's go. Let's get the tiny villager sword out real quick, and let's do some more damage. Get one golem down, there we go, one more to go, and just like that, me and my wolves took down yet again another giant golem, and we also ended up getting the next potion of shrinking, good job guys, by the way, and small sand boots. These might be a size too small. Oh, and we got the magic sand ability again. So if you guys don't know what the magic sand is, pretty much if I press this key, there we go, nice, little magic sand. All right, anyways, let's turn off the magic sand, and now let's actually explore this area, because we never got to, so dispensers don't don't have anything. I'm gonna guess that's my way back. And what about the chest? Oh, there's nothing in the chest. That's a little bit of a scam. Dang it, I was kind of excited. Anyways, with that being done, let's go ahead and drink the next potion of shrinking. And yet again, my crafting table has now shrunk again. I just realized we never made the items I was talking about earlier. So I guess we can do that now too. But wait, it may have actually shrunk from last time. But for this time, here's the craft we have on the screen right now. And we gotta craft a weather antenna. Okay, let's actually get out of here first and then we can craft that because I don't want to be in this temple for a weather antenna. So let's go back. And before we make the weather antenna, let's go back all the way over there. Let me get some stone and let's make the previous items. Okay, good thing I have the table still here so we can actually do some crafts real quick. So before we get to the new crafts, let's real quick make one of these and see what exactly I was missing. Wait, what is this? A tiny sand bomb. Cool. And uh, now that we have the tiny sand bomb, we can also make one more thing, which is going to be with these right here. And then we get a growing stone, throwable, tiny stone, big boulder. Okay, so right click. Oh, that's very powerful. Very nice. And now what about the tiny sand bomb? Oh, it literally just throws sand. Nice. We appreciate tiny sand bomb. Anyways, let's actually do the next thing, which it tells us to craft a weather antenna. And we actually don't have the gold. So I guess no better time to get the growing stone. And I guess just go mining for some gold. It's going to be a little bit difficult though. What if I do it like that? Oh, that works. Go on my sand. Okay, let's go all the way down there. Okay, it took me forever that we got so deep that it literally goes down to void. But we found some gold. So let's mine all the gold. Thank you very much. And the amount of gold we got was already a stack. Very nice. All right, let's place this bad boy back down. And now for the craft, it's going to be a bit of gold on both sides. And then what the heck is this thing? A weather antenna must be placed on the surface. Well, let's go up and place down this antenna thing. Weather antenna. Let's place that down and survive the storm. Wait, what? Oh, oh, yo. Okay, okay. We got to dodge some stuff. Okay. Oh, it's literally a 
weather storm. That's sick. Guys, I'm, I'm just trying to make smaller crafts. You guys don't have to try to kill me, please. Oh, one second. And there we go. Well, that was interesting. I guess we survived it, but we ended up getting an overcharged potion of shrinking. Caution. And then a bunch of cursed text. I feel like I'm not supposed to drink this, but we're going to drink it either way for the content because we got to get higher in the smaller bar. So right click. Crafting table is now ginormous. Wait, so it's getting so small. It's going backwards. How big is this? What the heck? Oh my gosh. Why does it keep getting bigger? Anyone have a good explanation? I have no idea. Let's real quick get the magic sand on and get all the way to the side, I guess, and maybe do the parkour. Enough magic sand to go to the bottom. Okay, gotta do the parkour. I feel bad if I don't do the parkour. A couple more jumps, and what the heck is this place? Oh, it's literally a crafting table. Oh, wait, guys. So, on my document that I get from the game masters on what to craft, we have three brand new crafts I think I'm supposed to do on this thing. So, it's a three by three, but it's big. Okay, so so apparently really big crafting, one stick, and then two diamonds. Oh, that worked. Oh, that was sick. Okay, so I can craft on top of this thing, and it's kind of like a build craft. Cool. And now we have a normal diamond sword. Completely average. Wait, is it really just a normal diamond sword? How does this work? Oh, wait. That's not a normal diamond sword. I just lost a sword. Kind of cool. Not bad. And then the next item we're going to be making is going to be with three sticks, and it looks like it's just going to be a bow on a giant crafting table. I'm very much confused. One more string there, and there we go. Nice. Okay, so it literally works. Oh my gosh, wait, that's so small. A tiny bow. Oh, look at that thing. Oh my gosh, they're so small. Okay, that's adorable. What the heck? And now for the final thing, it's apparently four oak planks on a crafting table. So is this going to make a crafting table and a crafting table? Is that like crafting table -ception? Oh, oh, okay. Apparently that's a boss. What are you doing, buddy? Oh gosh, wait, no, no, no. Please don't knock me off. I'm literally going to die if I get knocked off. Go my swords. Get him. Oh, oh, oh gosh. I got crafting table zombies. What the heck? No, bad crafting table. Okay. Never trust making crafting tables instead of crafting tables. That was not worth it. Anyways, on the bright side, we did get a push of shrinking. So let's go ahead and drink that and get to the next tier yet again. Oh, oh, I just did magic sand last second. Your crafting table is now shrunk. I think the ants went back in their hill. So that's a new crafting table. And now it's becoming diagonal. I don't even know anymore, guys. This is just a bit weird. But as you can see from the crafts on the screen right now that we got to do, it's getting a bit expensive. We're working out to get some diamonds. But before we do that, let me investigate this ants thing. Oh, I found it. Ant hill shrink level 13 required. I guess let's go inside. Side? Oh gosh, wait, are these ants? Are you guys friendly? You friendly? Okay, friendly ants. Very nice. I guess let's just go down through here. You, outsider, I'm willing to be nice and let you live if you help my colony. We're hungry and need help. It sounds like someone's outside. Can you look for crumbs for us? Oh, it's the ant queen. Oh, that's sick. Okay. Okay, so what exactly is outside? Wait, what the heck are you? That's a big villager. Oh, he's throwing cookie crumbs. Oh, we gotta collect the cookie crumbs. So what happens if I punch this guy? Oh, cookie crumbs come out. Oh, that's sick. Okay, let me real quick grab as many as I can. Number seven. Okay, I'm just gonna, I guess, collect all these around and then get back down there. Okay, that's gonna be 34 cookie crumbs, so I guess let's go back down, and can I can I feed the ants? Nope, nope, I gotta go to the queen. Alright, let's go all the way. Hopefully I don't get attacked by the queen, but I am expecting diamonds, so please give me diamonds and I'll be happy. That is a very big ant, my goodness. Oh, there we go. Thank you for your help. We are very grateful. Please take this special egg as a show of our gratitude. Oh, wait. That's literally the items I needed for the actual crafts that are on the screen right now, and we also got a brand new item, which is gonna be a flying ant egg. Something's inside. Oh, and the potion is shrinking. Okay, so first, flying ant egg. What does this do? Wait, what did I just do? Oh, wait, what the heck? We can ride in it. Oh, this is sick. What the heck? Oh, wait, it can fly? Guys, we have a flying ant. Guy, th th I'm vibing. Th this is the greatest moment of my entire life. Okay, anyways, now that we have our flying ant, I, I guess that that's a thing now. We can go ahead and also make some more crafts, which is going to be with our new tiny craft table. Yes, it's tiny because look, the world is bigger and yeah, I guess that, that that's smaller apparently. But what our next craft is going to be is on the screen right now and it looks like a trident thing. Oh, it is is a tiny trident small oh it's so small it's like a little fork oh my gosh why are tiny things so powerful wait so when it lands it literally causes a tsunami wave oh my goodness that is incredible and what does this make a tiny diamond throwing star right click throw three throwing stars and one is a ring okay so how does this work oh that's sick okay so we have like little ninja stars oh that's sick and then shift right click throws in a whole ring okay if we find a boss guys we have some really cool weapons now we got the tiny trident and this thing but now with that being done guys let's go to drink the potion of shrink and yet again, some more shrinking. And my crafting table has shrunk it yet again, which what is it now? What the heck is this, guys? Literally, I don't even know. Okay, so it kind of got 
bit smaller? I'm not sure. But yet again, we got some brand new crafts and they require a lot of netherite. Do I gotta go to the nether? Oh, so we ended up getting an action bar message as we got closer to this area. And I think I'm supposed to go down here or something. All right, pickaxe all the way down. Oh, look at that. Oh gosh, I almost broke it. Okay, that could have been very bad. Oh my goodness. That is one very big portal. And is this gonna be a giant nether? I guess let's go inside. Where the heck am I? I am literally in the middle of lava. Oh gosh. All right, fire amp. Let's do this. Okay, so we got yet another action message. And this time we're supposed to go to a Pickland village 600 blocks away. Okay, so if I was a village, where would I be? Oh, is that it? Yo, wait, what the heck is that? Why are they so ugly? All right, don't mind me. Just gonna bridge over there real quick. And so what the heck am I supposed to do in here? Okay, so do you guys trade or something? Oh, they do. Okay, so one gold ink gives me a golden apple. And we can also get a tiny crossbow from another right ingot. Oh, wait. And with basalt, we can get another right ingot. That's so OP. And a looting 100 sword too. What the heck? Wait, do they all have the same trades? Oh, they do. Okay, before I get to you real quick, let me real quick get the pickaxe axe app real quick. And let's get as much basalt as we can. Is this basalt? Oh, it is. Okay. All right. That is going to be a lot of another right ingots. Oh my goodness. Okay. That is so many. And I guess we can also go ahead and get a looting 100 netherite sword. Oh, and I can't go wrong with the tiny crossbow. Why not? Let's get the tiny crossbow too. There we go. And so before we talk to this guy, what the heck does this do? I'll try it out on this guy. Oh, okay. Very nice. Anyways, with that being done, let's go real quick. Talk to the Professor Piglin. My, my, you're quite tiny. Would you mind me helping me finish this contraption? You're about to discover the quantum room. Wait, what? I need some blaze rods. So this guy needs 24 blaze rods. And apparently we go to the quantum realm. Um, I mean, good thing there's a thing right there. So let's get on our ant real quick. Okay, where's the blaze water when I need it? Holy blazes. Okay, all right, looting sword, please do something good. Oh, it only gave me two? It's looting a thousand though. Okay, don't mind me. Let's get the blaze rods. Oh, wait, we have a stack already? Never mind, looting did work. Okay, I am done here. I am gonna get out of here before I die. Oh, we barely made it out. Okay, let's get back to the piglin. All right, Mr. Piglin, I got all the blaze rods I think he needs. Oh, there we go. Well done. Here, I know you've been collecting these, so take it. Potion of shrinking yet again. Let's go ahead and take that. And yet again, my crafting table has shrunk again. And now he says, my, my, that was just enough energy. Now we just need to push the button. Do me a favor, old sport, and push it for me. Oh gosh, um, what am I supposed to push? Wait, is this the button? That's such a big button. Wait, what the heck? Wait, I'm supposed to push this. I can't just get on it. Maybe I gotta make a craft or something? What the heck is this crafting table, guys? I'm not even gonna question it. Anyways, with this crafting table, we got one brand new craft and it's literally two blaze rods right here. And then an item, I don't even know what that is. Oh wait, it says right here, it's hogland meat. Do I gotta fight hoglins or something? Give me one sec, guys. Let's try to find some hoglins. Oh, hoglins. Okay, nice. Let's real quick call on my rats. All right, now just for one hoglin. Wait, whoa, wait, what the heck did you just drop? Oh, hoglin ribs. Three raw hoglin ribs. And I think I only need four. So there's another one up there, I guess. All right, go on villagers, get them. And just like that, I'll go ahead and take those hoglin ribs. And I'm gonna assume that this is how I'm gonna be pushing that button. So let's go ahead and make the craft, which is gonna be four hoglin ribs. Then a good old blaze rod right there and blaze rod right there. And we get blazing hot hoglin ribs. What the heck is this item? Like, why? What, how did we get here? Anyways, I'm not gonna eat it just yet. Let's get to the spot. Okay, moment of truth. A blazing hot hoglin ribs. What does this do? Oh my! Guys, I'm obviously in the center of it, but I'm very buff extra now. So am I heavy enough now? Wait, did that work? Wait, I think I actually pressed it. Uh, Mr. Professor? All right, what's up, man? Aha, another potion. I wonder if he can craft a way to the quantum realm now. Oh gosh, okay, so we're leading up to this quantum realm, he said, and I guess potion shrinking yet again. And the crafting table has now shrunk again, which this time we have two brand new crafts. One requires gold ingots, basalt, and a lot of nether items. And the other one is a bit more difficult. The good thing is that we can easily get all the items we need pretty much right here. So pickaxe axe, the greatest thing we've got in this entire video. Let's go ahead and grab that. Okay, let's go up there and get that nether quartz. Okay, we got all the stuff we needed. And the first thing we can go ahead and make is going to be with the basalt. So it's going to be like this thing right here. And then we add some of the dark stuff there. Wait, what? A gravity well. Left click to place, right click to activate. Okay. And the other thing we can make is going to be with the quartz and the ender pearl, which actually took me a lot to get these two things, but we finally got it. And then that makes a rift opener. Fastest way to travel. Oh, wait, is this for the quantum dimension? I think we may have finally got it. Okay. So ever since we got past the zero by zero grabbing table, things have been getting definitely a bit weird. And I guess when we right click this, things are going to get even weirder. So I guess without further ado, a rift opener. Oh gosh, here we go, guys. Oh, whoa, wait, where am I now? Is this the quantum world? Looks like just a random parkour. I guess let's try doing it real quick. Definitely weird stuff as you get smaller. Okay, almost to the end right now. Oh, and at the very end, we have another potion of shrinking. Crafting table is now shrunk again. So what is it now? Oh my gosh, wait, what the heck is this? It's a bunch of tiny tables. 
cables inside of whatever dimension this is. This isn't even making any sense anymore. So oddly enough, this is gonna be the final crafting table we get, I think. And here are all the crafts we can make with this thing, but we need obsidian. And then what are those things? I guess let's go inside and maybe we'll find out in there. Quantum Realm, the smallest place in Minecraft. What the heck are these things? Oh my gosh. Wait, do I like right click them or something? Oh wait, it's a proton. So when I right click these guys, they drop. Oh nice, okay. So literally it's a bunch of protons, neutrons and all that good stuff. I really did not expect this when we were doing a smaller crafting video, guys. I expected to go to a one by one table and then it'd be kind of funny and cool. But now we're atoms. Nice. But you know what? Let's just roll with the punches and get some obsidian real quick. And you guys already know me, the fast obsidian miner. Let's grab all that real quick. And with the stuff we got, let's go ahead and make one of the first items we can do. And that's going to be whatever this thing is. It'll be on the screen right now what we're making, but I'm not really sure what this is. Are we making like a nuke or something? Wait, what is that? A particle accelerator. Create blocks? This is literally the coolest item we've ever made. Wait, what does this do? Oh, yo! It literally changes the blocks we hit. Well, that's cool. Okay, so after I got a bit more things, we can now make whatever this thing is. So, an atmosphere anchor. Okay. Oh, I can jump higher. Oh, that's sick. So, it's kind of like space now. Cool. Anyways, back to crafting. The final thing we can make is going to be with one proton, one neutron, and then one electron, we get an uncharged atom placeable. It's apparently the final thing we can craft. So, what does this do? Oh, I got to fill it. Nice. Okay. Proton, electron, and then finally with one neutron. Oh, we get another potion. So, is this going to be the final potion of shrinking? I guess let's just shrink it. Shrink yet again. The explosion made everything unstable. Look out for that glitchy dragon. What the heck is that thing? So I think this is going to be the final boss. Let's get out the tiny bow and let's do this. Oh my gosh, it does no damage. Are you serious? I can't even use it, the tiny bow. What about the diamond throwing stars? Oh, they do good damage. Wait, it's healing. Oh wait, I didn't even realize that. Let's go flying it. Okay, how can I break these? Sand bombs? Oh no, that isn't working either. You know what? Because that ain't working. We're going to go in and get the dragon real quick. Let's try to beat it real quick with the tridents and oh wait, this might actually do enough damage to kill it. Oh gosh, a few more tridents. And just like that, that's going to be it for the dragon and that might be it is there any more shrinking i'm not sure did, did it drop anything oh there we go okay so now that we've defeated the dragon we get the final potion so how small do we get after this and just like that that's gonna be it for the challenge and so hope you guys all enjoyed have a great one in this video just like this one bye guys